Okay, let's see how to charge lithium polymer batteries using this charger C240 Duo. It has two outputs for two batteries. Okay, so on this side it has a plug like this. Okay, and it's AC. And on the other side it has a 220 volt connector. Okay, so that's plugged in. Power it on. Okay, it has two displays. The top one is for the left output and the lower one is for the right output. Now let's connect these cables. These are for the balance plugs for different type of batteries. It can charge a two cell battery up to a six cell battery. Okay, this one comes here. Take a look at these two things on the top. Okay, the other one is identical. The same thing that goes for the second battery. Then it has two connectors like this. It has a T connector in the middle. If your battery, instead of an XT60, if it has a T plug, then you can directly use that one. But since mine is XT60, then I have to put back this connector. Okay. So the red goes to the red, that's the positive, and black goes to the black. Same thing there, red to red and black to black. Okay, now let's connect the battery. Let's say this one, it's a four cell. One, two, three and four cells inside the battery. So connect the XT60 and the balance plug. Since it has four cells, each cell has, let's say, a minus and four pluses. So that would be four plus one connectors. So a four cell battery has a five pin connector and connects to, let's say, that one in the middle because it belongs there. The other ones are with more pins and the top one has less pins. Now we can connect another battery. That's also a four cell. So this time let's connect a three cell battery. It's visibly one, two, three cells inside. Let's connect the XT60. And since this has only three cells inside, that means three plus one pins on the balance plug. That one's a little bit damaged, but it's still usable. So three plus one, that is four. Four should go there. So two batteries are connected. Now let's take a look here. So it says lithium battery. If it's not on lithium, then just use the plus and the minus keys and search for lithium battery. Now press that play like looking button to go forward. It's charging, balance charging a lithium polymer battery with that amperage the battery is voltage is that and we have four cells so play button again yes it's a lipo that's okay 1.5 amps now if the battery mentions 1300 milliamps then we should lower that value to 1.3 so the first two numbers of those 1300 okay now press and hold the play button play or start is checking the battery it detected a four cell battery and it is really a four cell so we can just confirm it with the same button now it's charging a 4s lipo with that many amps the current voltage of the battery is that one 16.3 it's balance charging it that many seconds passed and that many i think milliamps entered into the battery okay now let's start the second one so this one, it's a 2.2 amp hour, that is 2200 milliamps. So we will use the first two numbers, 2.2 amps. Okay, so that's on lithium battery. So start it. I already charged it a little bit. <laughs> that's why it's exactly on 2.2. So play button. Yes, it's on LiPo. 2.2 amps, that's good. If it's not, then adjust it higher or lower. 2.2 and press and hold to start now it's checking it it's a three cell battery that was detected and it's really a free cell so let's just confirm it okay and it's charging it that's the fan since we are charging two batteries at once it will heat up a little bit and the fan should go out after a few moments 
Okay, so let's wait until this charges. The fan just stopped, but it will start back again. So it's not a quiet charger. If you want a quiet charger, then use something similar to this one, which has no fan in it and it charges only one battery, two, three and four cells. Okay, so one battery is already charged. It says full. So the three cell battery is full. That one can be removed. Press the stop button and simply disconnect the plugs. That's the XT60 and that's the balance plug. Take care of this thing because the black plastic can come off like so and don't make a short circuit there. Okay, so the right side is fully charged. We could charge another battery. Let's see, a four cell. So XT60, the balance plug where it belongs. Okay, and since that one is 1500, we should charge it with 1.5 amps. So start, LiPo, that's fine. 2.2, that is not fine. 1.5 is needed. And press and hold. It's checking it, 4 cell was detected, 4 cell is in reality, so start it. That one is also fully charged, the voltage is almost equal. Okay, so that's another battery. The first one is charged, it's full, but in the end it charges with a very low amperage. So although I set it to 1.5 amps, it charges with almost nothing. 0, 2 amps. 3 amps. So the first battery, since it's full, we can disconnect it. Even after it's disconnected, it still says full. Let's just stop it. The second one is still charging. 